So, Nick, I always like to start with growing up. I always feel that there's there's experiences or there's things that happen um, from when we were younger, uh, whether it was like a job that we experienced that that taught us sales or, you know, uh, parents or where we came from or whatever the case may be, um, that somewhere along the lines leads us into our real estate career or has a big influence into our real estate career. So starting younger, what was what was growing up like? So uh, to just give you insight uh, regarding my childhood, uh, so I grew up with, uh, there was a t I had a total of five brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. There was a lot of us, uh, we lived in Galloway, so I'm very familiar with Galloway and Hilliard, uh, but I lived out there my entire life. Um, really just the growing up aspect is, um, you know, we we're just really just middle class family. Um, like I said, there was a lot of us, so I didn't always get what I wanted, but also my dad was a hard worker. My mom was more of the stay at home mom. My dad was out there. He did, he, it was more, um, and I guess the best way to say it, I don't want to say maintenance because that's not the word, but he worked with a, a guy who owns a lot of properties here in okay. Columbus. And, um, he, uh, he really did a lot of like hands-on activities with him. So I was able to really go explore a lot of the projects he was doing. Um, and really just kind of, I actually at first didn't even anticipate on ever wanting to be a realtor. Um, it was just more just learning from that and then kind of jumping in, in uh, starting everything uh, once, once, uh, once I learned from him. So. Okay. So then, you know, were you, um, I guess, you know, through high school, things like that, did you just kind of do that? Was that kind of like your, your job or did you do something else at first or. Well, you know, uh, during high school. So I, didn't really do much like in real estate. Like I went to school. I mean, my first job was Wendy's. <laughs> so I worked at Wendy's when I got out of school um, and really just did that uh, for a couple of years. And I mean, the whole aspect of real estate, if we're jumping into the real estate um, aspect of everything is I was a flight attendant. Oh, wow. And I was a flight attendant and I loved my job, but the job not pay as much as I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Love the benefits and everything, but what really got me in the real estate was a lot of my friends were flight attendants and realtors. Interesting. Okay. So did you, after, or sorry, after high school, did you go to college or just right into the workforce? So I actually did. Uh, so I ended up going to Sinclair. So I have my associates in real estate okay. um, and that was kind of the start in regards to getting everything situated with real estate. Okay. Um, I jumped it. I really went to school for real estate. Didn't want to do much with it at first. Then I got hired as a flight attendant and then I started flying and that's when I put two and two together. Uh, that so, so you kind of, I guess, did you kind of know real estate was going to be the, the angle or, I mean, obviously you had some experience in not sales, but. Yeah, it's, I really didn't have much of a sales background. I was not a salesperson when yeah, I got yeah. into real estate. I always had jobs where, you know, maybe like I had to like, like I worked for Airbnb. So we had, maybe had to work with people, but I was never trying to sell them into something. Yeah. Um, then, you know, as flight attendant, it was the same thing. I was there to help people. I wasn't there to sell them into anything they were flying. Right. Um, what really got me into the real estate aspect was, like I said, I had a lot of friends who were realtors and um, I knew I wanted to do something besides being a flight attendant. I just didn't know what I wanted to do, but I did have that essential real estate background. So then I did, decided to just go get my license and then see how it goes. And I didn't want to quit flying, but I also wanted to be able to have a lifestyle that I could afford. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a mix of both. And then um, my ultimate goal in getting my real estate license is really just to sell the friends. Yeah. I'll sell the friends and um, sell the coworkers. I was like selling the pilots and flight attendants. And then uh, really just after that, it was more um, got into real estate. My first year I did eight houses and I've been good ever. I've been way more ever since. So how long, um, how long were you a flight attendant for? Three and a half years. Okay. So, you know, during that time, you just kind of figured out what drew you to the, to being a flight attendant, just the, just going, <laughs> traveling, all of that, or. I, so I get this question asked a lot. Um, so it, it's a funny story how I became a flight attendant. 
Um, so I, so I was working for Airbnb. So yeah. I like managed case manager. So when you like call on the Airbnb, you get assigned to somebody, but I was their boss. So I listened to calls and I did all that all the time, but I also was managing a few of my Airbnbs on the side. Okay. One, one day I get a call from this group of girls who, uh, they just graduated flight attendant training was asking me about running my place because they all just got based in, uh, Columbus. And um, I was like, you know, um, we worked something out. I thought it was great. I was like, you know, let's do it. You guys can rent my house for the first month. And then they were all trying to get based somewhere else, but they had to come to Columbus. Um, but anyways, I went to go meet them to let them in. And within 10 minutes of talking to them, they're like, you would make such a great flight attendant. It's like, oh, okay. Like, it, like my work. So they sent me a link to apply. And within three days, I got the job. Oh, there you go. So, awesome. it, and then it was like one of those things. And I, when I got hired, I was just like, well, let me just try it out. It might not be something I like. And then, um, I really loved it. So that's awesome. The travel benefits, being able to, uh, fly to different destinations, not always being here. Um, just really being able to explore at such a young age. Yeah. So a lot of people can't just say, Hey, I want to go. I don't know. I want to go to Aruba tomorrow and just be able to hop on a flight and I, you're on flight benefits, so it's you. You're paying nothing to fly anywhere, so yeah. it's a good experience. It really was, but yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, I'm, my ultimate was my ultimate uh, stepping point. So yeah, I'm sure it. I'm sure it taught you a ton of skills too. You know, communication, service, you know, customer service, all of those things. Yep, I mean, it really did. And um, then, like I said, I had a lot of friends who were flight attendants and realtors. Surprisingly, and how. Yeah, how did you navigate that? So, um, so it was a uh, situation to where, uh, so I got, I, I started flying in 2000 and it was 2017. And so I flew nonstop. It was my full time job um, the first year I did it. Um, and then after the first year, like I loved the job. I, I did have a, I, I was managing Airbnb, so I did have a side situation going on but i ultimately just really started networking with a few realtors and they threw the idea of why don't you just pursue your license you already have a real estate background why don't you just get your real estate license so i went ahead got my real estate license in 2018 and then uh after i got my real estate license in 2018 um that's when i just st more so just jumped into things I was only selling to friends. Um, I had like a family member who wanted to sell a house. And then I had a, uh, just a uh, word of mouth with pilots. Like I would tell pilots I'm a realtor and they would be like, Oh, you're a realtor. I'm looking to buy. So then I would start networking that way and, um, just really just jumped into the real estate part of everything. So that's awesome. I guess is, is the majority of pilots that I guess I, I don't know how all that works. So well, how are based in Columbus. So okay. I worked for an airline called Republic. So it wasn't like a major airline. It was a regional airline, but one of their main hubs is here in Columbus. Okay. So a lot of these pilots who, or even just flight attendants in general, just anyone, a lot of people are based here. Okay. So, so when they're thinking about being based here, they're paying rent, but it's also, you know, maybe I should buy something. Yeah. And that's where I kind of came in and was able to work with them because we already had good connections, like working relationship. Um, I would really just navigate them on and buying a house was good for them or not. Nice. And um, that's where I got a lot of my business when I first started as an agent was was probably my first year I sold the five pilots. Wow. Nice. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, now did, uh, just for sure.